Ashanti Regional Minister Simon Osei Mensah responded by announcing residents of Kumasi won't be compelled to wear nose mask. Everybody should be able to acquire the face mask today and tomorrow. If we see you maybe without face mask and you are in public, we can return you to go back home until you get the, the face mask on. The streets of Kumasi have since been flooded with all sorts of nose masks, both foreign and locally made. The FDA, however, cautions hundreds of products being sold to the unsuspecting public are unapproved. We sampled quite a number of nose masks, and as you, you can see here, most of the nose masks are just one layer of fabric. Uh, most, some of this, for instance, looks like polyester, uh, which would not be able to filter anything. There, some of them have cotton, which is good, but they are only one layer. This one I have here is two layers, and so they, they, they don't meet the guideline for making masks that the FDA has brought out. So we would like to educate the public on the guidelines that we have brought out to, to, to enable them to uh, produce nose masks that can protect the public and all of us. Nora Nakite Labi is the Ashanti Regional Head. We have recommended a three-layered uh, system where you have the calico as the outer layer, you have stiff, and then the third layer, which comes through your person, close to your mouth, should also be calico. Otherwise, the second option also is three fabrics. That is calico, calico, calico. If you sew it together, it's able to filter this uh, virus out. And also, it is reusable. You can use your cotton fabric for the outer layer. Make sure that the middle layer is either the stiff or calico. And then the inner layer, which comes in front of your nose and your mouth, should be calico. It should be something that hasn't got chemicals inside. Mrs. Telabi warns the public is at risk if masks cannot serve their purpose. I must say it's very, very widespread. In fact, now anywhere you go by the roadside, people are holding them and selling. Uh, mostly you see some, a, a lady or a young person holding so many of them with their bare hands and the face masks are exposed. That is also not good because you are, you are talking about germs. And so it should be said that when you, you, you saw it rightly, let's put them in a small packaging that is sealed so that individual uh, face masks are in individual packaging. Also, on our rounds, we found this. This is labeled as an N95 mask. But whoever was selling it was selling it like this. So this is already contaminated. Meanwhile, our checks reveal the RESEC enforcement is yet to commence. But our sources say the council is meeting with health authorities on the matter. From Kumasi, for Joy News, I'm Media reporting. Last week, we told you a story about how some residents of communities in the Ejra Sechedumasi district of the Ashanti region have turned to the local gin as their main weapon to fight COVID-19. The story has compelled teachers, nurses, and other individuals in the community to turn back on an outreach to educate the residents about that misconception. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reports the volunteers ride motorbikes over long distances just to reach out to the rural folk. about an hour. We are not stopping at Adamukra. We shall be moving to the other communities that include Pompa, uh, BCU number 